there. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, the market is roaring because Black Friday has started. Or actually, started a little bit early on Thanksgiving. Oh, but I don't know about you. Hmm. Those deals? I don't know if the lines were because it started on Thanksgiving or, well, let's just say, I'm very happy because for once I was able to get everything I really, really wanted. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, where's, oh there it is. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you'd absolutely think so because the President of the United States has decided to teach anyone that didn't support him a lesson. It seems like the FBI, remember Richard Nixon's uh, list? The President has got a business list now and the FBI has people listed on a chart that they're going to go after uh, that, you know, that hurt this economy. The problem is they all are supporters of Mitt Romney that he's going to go after. There's no Democrats on Wall Street listed on the go after list. But you know there's Democrats on Wall Street. I know, but uh, most of the most of the people on Wall Street are Democrats. They are not Republicans. Most of the billionaires in the country are Democrats. They aren't Republicans. Most of the millionaires are Democrats. They're not Republicans. Just ask Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but William Buffett's not going to pay his taxes. He's been offered a chance on live television to pay taxes he owes and he refuses because he said that I, uh, I believe in our legal system, which means well, he's using a system to keep from paying money that he owes. Well, isn't that what they do when they make a lot of money? I know, but he's demanding that, every, that you have taxes raised and yet he's refusing to set the example and to pay the extra money. He won't do it. No, you that goes back find, to do as I say, not as I do. But BS says you will not find one single Democrat, period, that will volunteer to send extra money to the federal government. Not a one. So, they're, and they, what they were talking about, you know, they said this morning, he said it's pure hypocrisy. They want you to pay, but they won't set the example. And why do you expect that they won't even pay the taxes when they're ordered to now? Mm. And public nudity has uh, banned considered in San Francisco. Yeah, well, that's because the more liberal the community, the more conservative it becomes. I mean, uh, California... Wasn't San Francisco the place where they used to do all the streaking? Oh, yeah, it's been everything. Oh, it basically... Uh, they, one of the people said, well, it's because, I, I love this, one of the gay guys on one of the shows said, one of the gay newspaper men said, he said, uh, you've never seen an attractive naked person in your life, have you, in San Francisco? I said, no. And he said, well, then what they're doing is doing a favor to the community. <laughs> I love that. So. Sex offender suspected in 1970 Wisconsin child murder. I, I, know, I, I get to be, there's just too many, what happens is, there are cold cases where you suspect somebody that did it and you couldn't prove it. But when out of the blue you find some new evidence, that just doesn't happen. If you find new evidence, somebody's put it there. It was never there to begin with. And Obama campaign asks, what do we do next? Oh yeah, because he's trying to get his campaign people to picket uh, Republicans that were just elected to office to force them to vote for uh, uh, raising taxes. The problem comes is, like I heard everybody saying, nobody, n nobody on either side gives a damn now about doing anything because they're safe for one full year. They don't have to, which means they can hear and all send the country down the chute. They don't care because whatever you say is not going to have any influence on them until next fall. And Rupert Murdoch's Jewish problem and his Egyptian one. Well, you know, because uh, Murdoch basically uh, okay, he's a typical, uh, he, he's a, it was a Democrat that became a Republican and is back to being a Democrat again. And the Democrats really have low opinion of the Jewish people, and he shows it in, in his attitude. I mean, personally, Murdoch is a nice guy. We sat with Rupert Murdoch, mm -hmm. but what happens is Murdoch is old world journalist where he basically says what he, if he's gonna, he just says it and then worries about the repercussions later. And U.S. Britain warned of risk of Israeli ground war. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's going to happen sooner or later. They said that Obama basically did this thing in Israel with uh, Egypt to have Egypt look like they were the great peacemaker. The day after he did it, Morrissey decided to seize power in, uh, in Egypt and became a de facto dictator when he, sh when he basically, uh, by... Uh, by decree ordered the court system would have no authority over any people in the Muslim Brotherhood and could only have effect on people that didn't agree with him. But he said it's only temporary. 
They said there, there is no such thing in this universe as a temporary dictator, folks. And Obama basically is now faced with that because he did come back after the thing in Israel was settled. And he's, he's refusing to answer questions. Well, you said that this was the, the uh, Arab Spring and that everything was going to be so much better. Now you have a Muslim dictator that's wanted for crimes against humanity by the world court that can basically only travel to certain areas in the world. And you support his <coughs> presidency. And he's refusing. They, he, he would not take those questions. Ooh. Yeah. And Carney usually... wouldn't answer them either. So, because they have no response. After the guy, they made him look good to the world, and then after they make him look good to the world, uh, by delaying a thing with the Israelis, whom they really hate, he then stabs Obama in the back. Why? Because that's why, okay. That's what they that do. BS says, Obama is not a true Muslim. There are no mixed breed Muslims, folks. They get rid of them. They consider them as inferior. And he's got a white, and he's got a Caucasian mother. That even makes it worse. Oh, it does. That's right. You can be a you you cannot be a mixed breed in the Muslim world because they treat you just like they do gay people. I think you're one step below a gay person in their universe. And spacecraft makes rare night landing with ISS crew. Well, because the Russians land at night, the Americans never do. With the Russians, well, basically, the Russians have a capsule that comes down, so they don't have to worry about landing. They just set set the capsule down anywhere in the god awful universe. And Jindal liking people is key to expanding the GOP tent. Well, no, it's not. Um, uh, that, that you basically, you cannot dump your base in order to expand it. You didn't see the Democrats dump their base. The Democrats only, the Democrats won a base election. What happened was the Republicans decided, well, they dislike Obama so much that they will have to come. Well, they didn't come and vote because they disliked Mitt Romney, too. When you have two candidates you don't like, Republicans will sell their hands. They will not vote, and it cost them Senate seats because they didn't vote. They had, they had six elections won, which they lost because the conservatives didn't come out and vote. And Gastrolin presents Obama with historic choices. Well, yeah, well, there are no historic choices because he did not get a mandate. The Republicans control the purse strings of Congress. He has no mandate to do anything, period. And, he, and they're trying to blame him this morning. One of his CEOs said, the Republicans have to realize that they lost the election and they're going to have to give in to what the president wants because the people demanded it. No, they didn't. They've taken the House from the Republicans. The Republicans actually gained seats in the House. They didn't lose seats. And man accused of Twilight Plot was detained in 2009. Oh, I know. They, they get, they're, they're basically, these guys are popping up out of the woodwork that we're going to do a, a Twilight Killing. Um, what it is, is the movie is out, they're trying to get publicity. Uh, yeah. And California Slaughterhouse to pay $300,000 in settlement. Oh yeah, Some, okay, here the problem is they don't have to pay anything in settlement. They, there's, a, there's a law in the state of California, you cannot capture a person's likeness uh, speaking without their permission. What'd they do? Who'd they, they get? They videotaped uh, things going on at the slaughterhouse in violation of state statutes. I mean, uh, there's been people, uh, I mean, there was a police officer that was ordered back on his job, even though they knew he did the crime. He was on camera doing the crime, but because in California you cannot capture a person's likeness on video with audio, and that basically, that's why there's no audio on cameras that are placed anywhere. And New Jersey Railway put trains in Sandy Flood despite warnings. Oh, I know. In the Sandy Flood zone. Yeah, well. It just, nobody pays any attention, which is why there's so much problem. I, mean, I don't know why. I mean, it, well, how can you tell a Democrat from a Republican? A Democrat does something stupid like that and figures that your Republicans are getting out of trouble. And Jets Tebow reveals he has two broken ribs. I, I found that to be rather coincidental when the fans are booing everything on the field and they're demanding Tebow come out. So he comes out to, and to tell the fans, I'm sorry, I can't play because I had two broken ribs in a game two times. And nobody, okay, here is the rule in the NFL. If you have an injury, you have to report that injury mm -hmm. the week before the game. And supposedly, they've not reported the injury for two weeks, which means he didn't have the injury. He just, he basically... They're trying to make an excuse for why they got slaughtered and yeah. didn't get to go in. Because they decided to stick with a quarterback that... 
that ha actually handed a ball off to the other team. Oh, this is atrocious. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay, and, and, and because you're seeing Christmas being destroyed in our country, you're seeing Hitler, you're seeing going after a list, you know, by the president, basically what it simply amounts to is elections do have consequences.